from beautiful Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Toronto Blue Jays squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Bo Bichette, he, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound in this one, Tanner Howe. What do we have on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. And he deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. He's good. Spring around the run. Strike in there. Go to second. Ow! Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. And a quick tag before he reaches the base. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Righty delivers. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Swings and misses. Struck him out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Right Fastball two. for a strike. 0 and 2. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Toronto nothing. Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway Park, and the starter for Toronto, Jose Barrios. What should we keep an eye on here? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Here's Alex Verdugo. The wind and the pitch. Strike one. Zero balls, one strike. The pitch. That misses one one. the zone. And that's ball one. That's inside. That's inside ball.
close, but no, call the ball. the ball. Three balls and a strike. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man aboard, and here is Devers. And there's the strike. And here it comes. Pitch is in there. That is strike two. Rudder at first with no outs here. Just misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. One, two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Justin Turner in the box now. Takes strike one. Is your one now wanted oh. one? Verdugo over at second. Devers on at first with nobody out. The one one is fouled off. One two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Two on, one out, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Up the middle. Diving! And he can't make the play. Here comes the throw. But it's offline. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Here's Trevor Story. High fly ball down the left field line. And it bangs off the wall. One runs in. Another comes in to score. And they're up by three. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it. But he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. So up next, will you Abreu? On the outside corner, that's strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Out to short. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck.
That yeah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Two on, one out. And a strike. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And a pitch. And that one is in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a chopper. Over to first, and they get the out. Here's the second baseman, number 47. Well, it stinks to be down by, you know, these runs early in this ball game like this, but you've got two outs, you've got to close the door because you still have a chance with how much time is left in this one. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call, and it's one and oh. And that one a little bit high. Two balls, no strikes. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Red Sox already leading. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Left hand batter waits. That one just misses. Connor Wong to bat next. Three and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Tough start for him so far. Already at 30 pitches here in the first. Now a screamer into the outfield. Springer there makes the catch, and that's the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the second from Fenway Park. It's the Red Sox three, and the Jays nothing. Back here in Boston, digging in, Bo Bichette. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. The one. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they'd actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. The punch out there, and now one away. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. One down, base is empty. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two two now. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Next 
next pitch is outside. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Man at first with one gone. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Pitch misses, ball one. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll get down for a hit. Verdugo to third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And he deals. Pitch misses there. Three balls, no strikes. Biggio on third. Kirk over at first with one away. And yeah, the 3-0 finds his own. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Kicks and fires. It weakly on the ground towards second. Goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. No, that missed. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Turner goes to second for one. To Dahlbeck, double play. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. half of inning number two and now the catcher comes up to him Connor Wong the wind of the pitch swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field everything came together for him that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee Verdugo batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Nobody out, runner at first. That one off the mark, one ball, one strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Two and one now. 
That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Bangs off the wall. Bichette with a relay throw. Safe at the plate. And they lead by three. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Now it's Devers at the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Man at second. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. That's a little bit low. No outs. Runner on second. Got him swinging. Here's Justin Turner. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1-1. Verdugo, the runner at second with one away. And that one hammered Varsho. Going back on this one. Still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. So now it's the full hole hitter. Masataka Yoshida. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One and out. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction nope, in the that's call. That's the ball. Man on second, two down. Fouls one off, two and two. Goes down looking. Red Sox with an RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. On to the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Abreu snags it on the run. Here's George Springer. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. He was all over that one. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Oh. That's off the mark. One and oh. One ball, no strikes.
Runner at second here, one gone. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. That's out to center field. Number 47 gets under it. He's got it. Two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Misses off the inside. And that's ball one. Springer stands at second with two gone. And that's down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And now two and one. Good eye right there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Bulbashet waits on deck. And the right-hander deals. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. So two on with two away. Bulbashet gets a chance to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball one low. First and second, two down. And it's one and one. Well, he one knows one. they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Two on, two outs. Fouls it off, still one and two. Tying run at the plate. Squirts away a little bit. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. The pitch. On the ground to first. Dahlbeck takes it himself. That ends the frame. Blue Jays leave a pair, and they trail it 4-1. Bottom of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trevor Story. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Barrios back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Now I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. The 1-0. -oh. Swings through that one. You know, these Red Sox doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. That one misses, and it's two and two. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Abreu in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next pitch no, misses, miss. two and oh. Two and oh. And it is two and one. 
Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That missed inside. And now three balls and a strike. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And next for the Red Sox, Bobby Dahlbeck grounded out his first time. There goes the runner. To the right side, Guerrero steps on the bag. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. So two down now, and here is number 47. And he takes a strike. Abreu at second with two down. That one ran one, inside, almost got him. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. And the Red Sox lead one, but they lead it four to one. And we're back here at Fenway Park, start of the fourth, and now Kevin Biggio. The right-hander back to work. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict oh. baseball. The next offering misses. One and, one. and one and one. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Single to right at his first trip. And ball no, that's one. It. That's a ball. Swings and misses. That's strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Two, one. Next pitch misses way outside. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Check swing, went around. Slider right there. And a pitch. That one ball. misses. Touchdown. And it's a ball and a strike. Ripped on a line. Verdugo makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. And this is still a 4 1 ball game.
Back here in Boston. Bottom of the fourth, leading off, Connor Wong. The wind of the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Pulls it in for the out. And stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Strike one. Next one misses, Ball, one and one. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. One and two. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Pitch misses, two, two. it's two and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Chapman under it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting. The center fielder, Rafael Devers. Here's Rafael Devers. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Popped up. Chapman should have this one. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Red Sox go down quietly as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's going to be Matt Chapman. Matt the pitch gets yeah. the slider in there for a strike well these Blue Jays need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings just one extra base hit for them so. oh now this is blasted way back there on its way gone a towering home run and they inch closer it's 4-2 just relentless. This team will not quit. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Red Sox bullpen. Tanner Howe won't go any further tonight, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Henley Jansen into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man, and... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Flied out his first time. Swing and a foul straight back.
Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's one he definitely should have laid off of. Springer up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And the pitch. Pulls that one foul. Remember when Kenley got a chance to play in the World Baseball Classic as a catcher for the Netherlands in 2009. You think now he wears number 74 because that is his house number in Curacao. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. One and two now. Swings through him for the K. Slider got him for strike three. One out left for the Blue Jays. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit. In there for strike one. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. That one outside, oh, and the count is one and one. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Just one strike away. Two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Right through there. Got him. And that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final, 4-2. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.